everybody and welcome back to my channel and to a new video. I haven't done a sit down video in a long time and this video is particularly different to ones that I normally do. But I thought this was a super interesting thing that has just arrived in the post and I thought I'd share it and do a review on it. I'll get to what that is very soon. If you are a female, you will have probably seen recently that there is a whole bunch of things coming around that are related to periods, to that time of the month that we all love so much, but particularly period products and reusable things. One of the things that comes up largely are, <laughs> which are, if you don't know, menstrual cups and are reusable, insertable cups that catch everything and then you tip it out and you wash it. These are great and I thought I bought these because I thought that they would be super useful for travel, better for the environment, better for you personally, but they actually don't work very well. I don't particularly like them. I've spent the past year pretty much trying them out and I just they just they just do not work for me. Pretty sure that I won't be the only one out there that they don't work for. So I decided to dive into other options. Hence this package right here that got delivered earlier this week and has been sitting in my room waiting for me to open for a while. And mum's been waiting for me to open it because she wants to look at it as well. So I'll get her to come in and get her thoughts anyway. But I decided to acquire some period pants or period underwear that are reusable, washable, all that kind of stuff. And I also found period swimwear or togs if you're in New Zealand. So I got a pair of un uh, bikini bottoms as well because, um, duh, be able to wear swimwear on your period and go swimming. Come on, who doesn't want to do that? Especially when you're traveling. But my thoughts were that having some reusable things like underwear that you're able to use while traveling, which means that you don't have to go to some strange supermarket or somewhere and try it and find sanitary product. It also means that you're never caught short. They don't take up as much use as much space in your bag as pads do. And money, saving money, because think about how much money you spend every month just on buying like tampons and pads. These are reusable. I know that a period pant isn't exactly a new phenomenon. Mum used to have similar things when she was younger. I bought four pairs of underwear and one pair of bikini bottoms. I bought two moderate to light absorbency underwear and two uh, heavy absorbency pairs. Now there's one thing I noticed um, looking through the websites, I looked at quite a few different websites, is that a lot of them offer bundles of underwear, like what you would buy normally in a shop, except you could, you seem to only be able to get light absorbency ones or heavy absorbency ones. Now, I thought this was a little bit strange, as for me personally, that doesn't really work, I'd have to buy the light ones and then still acquire some of the heavy ones as well. The heavy ones are designed to be able to be worn overnight as well as if you've got like a heavy flow. In my opinion I reckon they should offer bundles that you can kind of customise to suit yourself in your own periods. And the swimwear side of things, they definitely need to develop them a little bit further. I found a couple of websites in America that sold swimwear that was different and like like normal swimwear, it wasn't just black and boring. It was a little bit more exciting with frills or sporty or <laughs> something. But there wasn't really anything in Australia or New Zealand that offered those yet. In fact, there was none of the websites in New Zealand offered togs swimwear. I got it from a website called Moddy Body. I think that's what it's called. I'll link it down below anyway. But yeah, let's, let's open the package. So let's have a look. I think these ones are the heavy absorbency ones. So these, like I said before, are meant to be able to be worn overnight. <laughs> okay, that is immediately way better than overnight pad. The pad, the 
absorbent part actually comes all the way out to the back seam. So like, you're not gonna have to worry about lying on your side at night wearing those. The fabric is really nice. The pad also comes all the way up to quite like quite far up the front as well. The absorbent pad is definitely lighter up here than it is obviously around where the actual, you know where it actually occurs. <laughs> you know what I mean. They look like nice knickers as well. They look a little bit like granny knickers because they look so big. Um, these are the other, yeah this is the other, is this the other heavy one? Oh my god I don't know. Yeah this is the other moderate to heavy absorbency pair. They're different to the other ones. This one doesn't have a pad that goes all the way up the back. So these ones are obviously more for like overnight and these ones are more for day to day wear. But these are the seam free bikini bottoms without the swimwear ones. So that's another heavy one. But yeah, they feel actually really nice. <laughs> There's the absorbent layer on the inside it's pretty thick like it's decently thick but it's not going to be so thick that it's really uncomfortable and then i got two pairs of moderate to light ones the other thing i noticed about those ones from the website was that you can only seem to get them in like nude or black so these ones i got with the bit of lace on them like laciness to be honest i really think they could design them to look a little bit less like granny pads <laughs> they do. The pad on this one, so this is a light to moderate absorbency, feels more or less exactly the same as the one on this one. So the pad, I don't know what else to say, they're nicely made. Four pairs, I know that four pairs are definitely not enough for a period, but I didn't want to buy too many in case they um, did not work. Hopefully I look quite excited about these. And then I also got the ones for me, bikini bottom. So I was gonna get the full piece of swimwear, swimsuit, whatever. Um, but that was like a hundred and fifty new hundred and fifty dollars and that did not seem worth it. So it's just a standard pair of black bikini bottoms. It's actually feel really nice. The fabric is actually quite nice feeling. And again, absorbency layer. It's actually thinner than the other ones. So if you've ever had a bath with your period on, you know that you don't just like bleed all throughout the water. That's like completely a old wise tale that that's what happens when you have your period, you don't. For whatever reason, it doesn't come out when you're in the water. It's when you get out of the water that it comes out. And I think these will be more for that like before getting in the water and getting out of the water kind of situation. I'm gonna get mum and get her to tell you her thoughts on them. These ones are the moderate to light absorbency ones. Oh yeah, good sewn together and they feel like they're quite good material. They could cotton over the top and obviously a pad underneath. Nice, nice, look, nice pants. These are one of the heavy ones different material for sure. They're quite long. It's good in the crutch. Gosh, hard to believe. <laughs> Amazing. And then these are the other ones that are heavy. I think those ones are more for overnight. Oh yeah. Judging by the pad, it comes all the way up to the, the back. back so when you're lying down. Yeah. Mm, very amazing. It'd be very interesting to see how they work. Oh, I think it's neat that you can find things like that and it'd be really interesting to see how all they work and if you're comfortable wearing them, feel confident wearing them, that would be the main thing. But only time will tell. Really, I think they look good. I did notice on some of the websites that you could buy like fabric pads that were reusable. I yeah. don't know where I saw them, but they would be interesting to try as well. Which is what your grandmother used to use out of pieces of spare material and wash them. So we're going back down in time, aren't we? Or realizing that the older ones are better and then making them better than they were. <laughs> That's right, for sure. I think it's a good idea. I think it gets rid of all this chlorination or bleaching of our products and false stuff and artificial stuff and all that sort of thing. I think it's good. Yeah, and I think that these were individually um, $32 a pair. In my thought, I reckon I spend probably 30, 20 to 30 dollars a month on period on pads. Terrible. So 
This is one pair of knickers is what I would spend say a month on different pack, different products. Yeah. But this is reusable, so then next month I don't need to spend thirty dollars on something I already had that. Makes I am. I was quite excited about these to start off with, but now that I've looked at them, I'm even more excited about them. See how well these work out. If they are amazing, and do everything that they promise to do. Um, if they do then I will never be buying pads ever again, ever again. Now it is time to go to the montage bit of me testing them out. So my period started today. I have put on one of the heavier Zolder ones, the black ones, that had like the pad in it all the way up to the back to sleep in tonight. I'm not gonna lie, not putting on a pad on like the underwear when, like, when getting off the toilet for like, you know, oh, that's how, that's how you do it, right? And then just like pulling the knickers up was quite odd. That part of my brain that for the past, what, 13 years that has put a pad on my underwear and stuff just kind of screamed at me, no, no. You're just gonna, you didn't do it. You haven't done the safety precautions. And I'm like, chill, chill, chill. These pants are designed to catch it. We should be good. I think it is like one of those things that takes a couple of months of doing it and getting used to doing it until you're just like, oh yeah, it's normal. I'll let you know and what happens in the morning. Morning. So I wore the period knickers all night and it was all fine and there was no leakages and everything's great. They are so much more comfortable to wear at night time when sleeping than a pad. I will say the rinsing them out in the sink though afterwards may take a wee bit to get used to. Probably not something you want to do in a toilet where someone could walk in on you washing blood out of a piece of clothing like wearing another pair today they are really comfortable like super comfortable and they're like really nice to wear so excited by these i definitely think i'm gonna be buying some more it's only day two of wearing them my period has come early which is a strange phenomenon and does not happen very often at all so i don't think i'm gonna be able to try out the bikini bottoms because um my period I thought was gonna start in a few more days which meant that I was gonna be going away and going swimming but now it is definitely gonna be finished by then and because I'm working um, pretty much every day up until I leave swimming may not happen um, so <laughs> bit of a mishap today I tried the other pair of moderate to heavy undies and I got about halfway through the day and well there's a bit of an accident i don't know what happened my theory is that my period this month is just particularly heavy every now and again it is very heavy and it's day two which tends to be probably the heaviest day as of tomorrow it does calm down quite a bit so maybe that was why the ones that leaked the other day i gave them a try again today and yeah we got halfway through the day and again they leaked just don't exactly trust those anymore but the other ones that i tried moderate to light absorbent ones and they were firstly super comfortable the fabric is really nice and they are like really comfortable to wear and no leakage i wore the light to moderate to light to moderate absorbency ones today they lasted all day was so good the fact that I didn't have to worry about oh my god do I need to go change my pad and that was just actually amazing other side notes they don't smell it doesn't get itchy <laughs> no, there's no there's no itchiness so <laughs> it's so good I am obsessed and so we come to the end of the experiment <laughs> bye with the um, period pants so, I want to talk about the knickers themselves um, and just general feedback on them. Overall, um, 
they're amazing. Everybody should definitely get some period knickers or um, like a period cup. Any like reusable products for your period, get them. They are definitely worth spending a little bit extra on them to acquire them. In the long run, you'll save money. I wore these, the light to moderate absorbency ones at work um, one day and it was amazing. <laughs> the fact that I didn't have to worry about rushing to the toilet to like change my pad or whatever, it was just so great, like legit. And then these ones were the other moderate to heavy ones and they have the pad that runs all the way up to the back elastic um sleeping with these was so good you didn't have to worry about leaking or anything whatsoever i actually slept really well with these ones these guys these ones so these are the seam free ones they are meant to be um, moderate to heavy absorbency i tried them twice which I believe I told you in the little vlog like bits that I was doing and both times they full on leaked everywhere and I had to change my pants part way through the day which was really annoying I really liked these ones these ones are really comfortable so I'm really disappointed about these ones I don't know if I just got a one with a faulty a faulty pad in it or if it's not actually moderate to heavy because um, the other ones which are meant to be moderate to heavy no issues whatsoever but these ones did so I'm quite confused but otherwise they are all really amazing and I would highly recommend everybody to go out and get period knickers. I didn't get to try the period, the bikini bottoms but it's summer so it's quite warm out and about so I will definitely be going swimming at some point. And so my thoughts on buying period knickers because um, you don't seem to be able to get any in any of the shops at the moment is to just buy a few of each style or ones that you think you'll need. Don't buy like 10 all in one go, just buy a couple and then you'll know how many that you need, which absorbency is the right ones for you. I do have to say that I was quite disappointed by how long it took them to dry. We put some, I can't remember which ones, in the wash say about lunchtime and then they weren't dry the next day and it is quite warm at the moment because we're in the beginning of summer time of the year and that they weren't they were still quite damp so that was quite disappointing so that's a little bit annoying for travel side of things if they're if you're gonna wash them the night before and they're not gonna be quite dry yet so the, they are really easy to wash you just run them under the water until it runs clear just squeezing them out and then you can um, put them through the washing machine um, just be aware of what comes out of them when you squeeze them, whether it's going to terrify somebody. <laughs> One of the things that people have asked is, uh, don't they get wet? Like, doesn't it feel wet? No, because you're not changing them during the day. They actually draws the moisture away, so it actually does its job. The other thing is, is if, so many, if you use pads, you will know that you get a kind of, I guess, a nappy rash. <laughs> when you use pads you don't get it with these there's no itch itchiness there's no accidental sticking pad bits to other bits where it's not supposed to stick there's, there's, there's none of that it's just quite comfortable I am definitely going to be buying some more and I am going to completely stop buying pads of any description I will be acquiring these and never use single-use period products again unless I'm absolutely desperate. That's all I had for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did enjoy making it and testing out these amazing products. If you'd like to see some more videos like this then please don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up um, that lets me know that you want to see some more of these videos. Also don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the little bell beside it because then you'll see all of the really cool exciting videos that are coming up over the next year and such. Thank you.
some cool things coming up. If you have any comments or of anything that you like me to try or whatever, then leave it in the comment section down below. And you'll and then you'll find all the links to my social media and look what these these underwear also in the description so if you're interested and would like to get some then please go in and check those up and yeah that's it that's all i have to say for you okay thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video but until then remember to explore all you see laugh out loud and live your dreams and uh buy reusable period products boycott the single use period products Monopoly. I can't think of the words I've got to say. Alright. Okay. Bye.